the bat calls. Over here! How do you plead? I plead insanity. Hi there, groovy guys, groovy girls, peace, love, dope. Beads, bells, incense, light shows, crash pads, and Hare Krishna, all you groovy freaks. Dig it right on and how are you the people? <laughs> Forget about the spaceman for today. Today on the way back machine, more goons. From February 1956, we have Tales of Old Dartmoor. And we're going to sandwich that between a couple of Goons tunes. We'll start out with Blood Knox Rock and Roll Call and end off with A-O-U. You got to rock and roll in a roll call way. You got to march with a Marilyn Monroe sway. You got to rock and roll with your old kick bag. But you mustn't ever mention her name in the mess. And if you want to know the title of this number, it's a major Dennis Blood Knock rock and roll call rumba. Left, 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 right, left, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, in and out. In and out oh. Pick up your gun Shove a bullet up the spell That's a dance they do To Madras to Pango Pango It's a major Dennis Blood Knock Rock and Roll Called Tango Oh Hoi dum de do Hello de ho Bum be 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 Bo de cha Yum de do 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 Stop that simple Naughty record type music Stop it I say Stop it Oh stop it Oh Fudd me patties And sell me toppy Why do me beady old eyes deceive me, or is it? No, no, it can't be. But yes, oh. it is. It's me old childhood sweetheart, Spotty Minnie Bannister. Oh. The darling of Roper's Light Horse. Minnie, Minnie, oh. Bless my soul, oh. madam. Oh, what are you doing here? Nothing catching, I hope. I just came to put my bag full of money in the bank, Minnie. Money? Money? Oh, Neddy, take Miss Bannister in a steaming love dance while I check her properties. Oh. One, two... Three, four. Gents to the left. Ladies to the right. All John hands. Fan it. Bravado, bravado. What a voice. What a bank balance. I, I beg you, you gorgeous wanton, give me some small token of your love and I'll sing you a known military melody. Oh, Music, Maestro Ponky. Right, mate. You've got to rock and roll in a monetary manner if you want to earn a necessary tenor. Take your pick while the picking is good. If you don't pick right, things will never get better. And when I hear the tink of money, that is good news. It drives away the blood not rock and roll called blues. So let there be always some cash for me. That will be mine. mine. Send only two and sixpence for a copy of this record. This is the BBC Light Program, and here is a photograph of me saying it. (laughs) Thank you, Freeze Green. 
or as he came out of an icebox, deep freeze green. I don't wish to know that. Stop those carefully rehearsed and written ad libs and proceed with your task of announcing radio's answer to TV. Namely, the original lantern slide type wireless goon show. Try and get that at a long player. <laughs> All right. So much for melody. And now, segregate the sinful sexes. Wait! How many sexes are there? Two. It's not enough, I say. <laughs> Go out and order some more. Mr. Sellers, throw away that fur lined chin strap and make a statement. What is a jailbreak? Answer a break used for stopping jails. <laughs> A jailbreak has nothing to do with tonight's story, which is entitled Tales of Old Dartmoor. This is the story of a desperate man in prison. Yes, it was I. I was the governor. <laughs> Question, why was I desperate? Answer, because your record hasn't reached a hit parade. <laughs> Wrong! I was desperate for a very different reason. Hello? Prison governor, huh? Oh, yes. This is the superintendent of county jails. We are stock-taking. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, jolly for you. How many convicts have you got in? Well, let me see now. There's Jim, the crazy vicar. Oh, no, no. Oh, he escaped. <laughs> There's, um, meat axe George. Oh, no, 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 no. He bought himself out, yes. <laughs> then there's that confidence trickster. No, he became an MP. Hmm. <laughs> Number 34128 was released. Fred was transferred. You know, <laughs> I do believe we've run completely out of them. Do you know what this means, Sigun? Yes, we're empty. Empty? <laughs> By the way, Sigun, are you standing to attention? Yes. Good. Now, look here, Sigun, you can't walk around with an empty prison. Your job will be in jeopardy. In jeopardy? I don't want to go abroad. <laughs> Sigurd, I'm giving you a warning. Get that prison filled with convicts or you're fired. Underlined fired. <laughs> it's all very well for him to talk, but nobody's committing any crimes. Here I am, working my fingers to the bone, sweeping out empty cells, oiling unused locks, polishing handcuffs and giving transfusions to bloodhounds. <laughs> and never a word of thanks. <laughs> Where can I get convicts? <laughs> It's the front door. <laughs> I'll be there, Louis. Don't get broody. May I come in? Have you committed any crime? I'm afraid not. <laughs> then you can't come in. <laughs> Take off your hat. Sir. Now. <laughs> come in. Come in, Moriarty. Why are you? Allow us to introduce ourselves, my card. But it's blank. The business is bad. <laughs> That's funny, so is mine. I haven't got a convict in the place. Perhaps we can help you, Neddy, for a consideration. Moriarty, explain the plan. No, I said him Listen, we will guarantee you a constant supply of convicts at a reduced summer rate of three shillings per head per day. Three shillings, eh? Yes. The government give me five, that leaves two. Take away the convicts you first thought of. <laughs> You're on. When do they come in? Open that door. Hey, Eddie. 1182 of them. Wonderful. Who said Britain was finished as a criminal nation? <laughs> I'll address them in the mess hall. Where's the mess hall? Here. <laughs> right, address them. Very well, I will. Man, lady, and little man. <laughs> it is indeed a great pleasure to welcome you to Dartmoor Prison. <laughs> Thank you. You will find... You will find we have a great tradition here. And I don't want a single one of you to feel you're not wanted. What do you mean they're not wanted? These men are wanted everywhere. Really? <laughs> Who the devil wants this lot? The police. Well, they're safe here. Good. <laughs> All right, men. Off to yourselves now. Don't forget. Listen with mother at 2.30. Oh, <laughs> yes, 
Once again, Dartmoor Prison was chock full as of old, and the prison yard rang to the happy sound of rock-breaking mailbag sewing and water bashing. <laughs> yes, and as governor, I was receiving congratulations from every corner of the circular globe. Look at this telegram here. Good luck, Seagoon. A full prison is a happy one. Signed, Home Secretary. <laughs> and this year. Good work, Seagoon. Please find enclosed three OBEs. Try and get shot of the other two. <laughs> Signed, Minister of OBEs, P.S. How would you like to be a peer? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I'll be a peer. Moriarty, yes. I've just made myself a peer. Good, I'll get down on the end of it and start a concert party. Come back! <laughs> What? P double E R, not P I E R. Oh, you swine! Good heavens! He's fallen in the wet type water. <laughs> yes, you're a very short beer, Neddy. <laughs> Entry in prison diary. January 22nd, convict Eccles fell into a bucket of wet cement and looks like becoming a hardened criminal. Ha! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Second entry. Convict Gritpipe Thin made a strange request today. Neddy, do you mind if I sit down? Pull up a bollard and sit down. Thank you. Make yourself at home. Neddy? Treat the cell as your own. I will, I will. Needle not a loo. Have you any more brandy? <laughs> All gone. Sorry. Do you mind if I have a strange request? It's this. I really want to say that I want to say <laughs> Of course. I'll do it at once. Never mind, I'll smoke one of my own. <laughs> now, Neddy, the prisoners are getting restless. What, 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 what? They had Sabrina for the cabaret last night? I mean... Yes, I know culture's all very well, Neddy, but... <laughs> what the lads really need is a holiday. Holiday? Where? Well, 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 I, um... I've spoken to the lads. Nice yes. of you. And they all had their hearts set on the south of France. But I can't let them out of prison. But of course not, Neddy. We'll take the prison with us. But uh, you can't move the prison. People will talk. <laughs> Neddy, we're going to leave a cardboard replica. <laughs> oh, I see, yes. Ah, but wait a minute. Where are we going to stay in France? Ah, I've made arrangements with one of the French governments for our prison to be the <laughs> guest of the Chateau d'If, the historic Gallic penitentiary. Well, I must say, it all sounds very attractive indeed. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'll agree to it. Good. Then unchain our visas and we'll all be off. Get up there. Get up there. <laughs> It was a wonderful experience to be jogging along the Queen's Highway in one of Her Majesty's prisons on this fine morning. <laughs> Get up there! The gypsy am I, my travel on who cares? The lark in the sky, to bid you goodbye, I travel the road, I'm on! You silly, twisted governor. <laughs> <laughs> 